My dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you all to this online Gurukula series being organized by the Indian Yoga Association. We start with our salutations to the great sage Patanjali. Yogena chittasya padena vacham malam sharirasya cha vaidyakena Yopakarottam pravaram muninam patanjalim pramjaliranatosmi Om Shanti 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 We offer our salutations to that great Lord Patanjali, an incarnation of the Adi Guru Shiva and is an embodiment of the Adi Shesha. He made great contributions on three fields, Yogena Chittasya, by the contribution of Yoga through the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, Padena Vacham, to cleanse and systematize and standardize the process of speech through Vyakarana the grammar. Sharirasya malam vaidyakena as by the medicinal dimensions of Ayurveda to prevent diseases, promote positive health and to give solutions to the diseases. To such great master of masters we offer our salutations and I bow down in all humility to present to you some of the glimpses from the Patanjali Yoga Sutra. Patanjali has brought out the whole essence of yoga in four chapters, four padas as he calls. The Samadhi Pada, Sadhana Pada, Vibhuti Pada and Kaivalya Pada. In the first Samadhi Pada, he gives the whole summary in a sense. Just like in a modern thesis, first you get the complete summary or the abstract you know, of what is contained in the whole thesis, then we go for the elaboration. Similarly, Patali also has given the summary in the Samadhi Pada. Then he goes to the Sadhana Pada, that is the process by which we will bring about the transformation of the people, the Ashtanga Yoga essentially and so on. Then in the third chapter he talks about the advanced yoga, Antaranga Yoga and the advanced Sayama, Parinamas and various types of Samadhi and others. In the last chapter he gives the philosophy, the mechanism by which this happens. So just like we have discussions in which we give all the mechanisms and other things, the possible way for the understanding of the deeper things in the end of the dissertation, in the end of the thesis. So, the presentation by Patanjali is very much similar to the modern thesis. Similarly, the hallmark of progress of modern science is the formulae. The whole essence has been brought out in this thing E equals mc square of quantum mechanics energy mass equivalence. Similarly, Newton's laws, F equals MA and so on. So they are called formulae in modern science, but they are called sutras in our ancient lore. So Patnali was a master in formulating these sutras. The word sutra literally means it's a thread. And 
it's a thread between one thought to the next thought. Therefore, every sutra that he talks about, totally 196 sutras, they are all connected with one another. There is such wonderful logic that he has been able to build and make it a beautiful garland of flowers. That is the beauty, mathematical precision, the grandeur, the logic and exposition of the great knowledge base of the yoga, both the theory and the practice and the mechanisms and so on. So in the first chapter, always most of the sutras starts with the eligibility. Atha yoga anushasanam. Atha yoga anushasanam. That's the first sutra that Patanjali starts with. He says, now we are going to expose the whole dimension of yoga, exposition of yoga, presentation of yoga, yoga anushasanam. Yoga is a discipline. Also, anushasana can mean the discipline that we have to follow for the yoga. Similarly, the word atha has two. One, next. Next, we are going to start with the yoga. Another meaning of atha is mangala karakam. It is the auspiciousness. No. Therefore, in this sutra it says the eligibility criteria in a sense and the auspiciousness that is brought forth in this process and the discipline one has to follow has been condensed in this beautiful sutra. What are the eligibility criteria? No. That has been brought out in various uh, bhashas, the commentaries and so on. A person in normal health, person who is able to grasp simple things, a person who is not having various diseases or mental illnesses which do not allow him to understand and to use the dimensions and who is a seeker, who is a student who wants to learn about yoga. So in Krishna he says, who are the eligibility people? Artha, Jignasu, Artharthi, Jnani. Artho, Jignasu, Artharthi, Jnani, Chabhara, Tarshabha, Chatur, Vija, Bhajante, Maam, Jana, Sukruti, Norjuna. He says, four types of people come to this path of yoga. He says, Artha, who is in great misery. He had lost a lot of wealth. He had lost some of his relatives, father, mother, wife, husband, child, and so on. Or he has so much of stresses and tensions, you know, like what we see with the IT professions. That's called the artata. Jignasa, a person who is curious, he is seeing now yoga has become so popular. And in India, people never came to the practice of yoga. They thought that we all know yoga. But thanks to our Honorable Prime Minister, the International Day of Yoga with the Common Yoga Protocol is being spread all over the country for crores of people. So, with that curiosity, people start growing there. Artha Jignasu. Then Artharthi, a person who is always business-minded. Nothing wrong. No. A person who wants to make money, now probably the IT is down and now people are searching for various other ways by which they can make the money to make a good living, a living with integrity and honesty and they see whether I can make yoga as a way of doing this, to earn the money, to make a living and to spread this message of yoga. It's Artha Arthi business. 
a Jnani who is search of truth. These are the four types of people who come into my fold, says Krishna Bhagavan in Bhagavad Gita, and that is the eligibility criteria. It can be young, middle age, or old, anybody can come with this. Then, what is the objective? What is the definition of yoga? In the second sutra, the most famous one. Yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha ha. Yoga is to gain mastery over the mind. Chitta vritti, modifications of the mind. Yoga is a conscious process to gain mastery over the mind. Normally, mastery of the mind, people think, is to develop concentration. But concentration is one part of the mastery. In concentration, there is the sharpness of the intellect, faster mind, quicker mind, brilliant mind, innovative mind, creative mind, all these things are included in this first phase of mastery. Yes, one should have, but that's not all. There is a second dimension to the mastery, calming down the mind, silencing the mind, tranquilizing the mind, going to deeper and deeper levels of silence. So these are like two wings. The second part has been emphasized by Vasishta in his famous text Yoga Vasishta. Mana Prashavana Upayaha Yogaha, he says. Calming down the mind. Prakashena Samyati Di Prashamanam. Deeply tranquil the mind. Both these things are included in the mastery. The person should be able to go and do all the work with a brilliant mind, sharp mind, creative, innovative mind, faster and faster, it will be very, very efficient on that side. At the same time, the person is able to relax, calm down, silence, and go into the deeper and deeper levels of silence, and deeper levels of the mind, subtler layers of the mind, and so on. So these are like two wings. Unfortunately, our entire education system has missed the second part. And in our earlier Gurukula system, it was part of our education system. Every child was asked to sit and calm down the mind, go into the deep levels of meditation. And they would sit there with such tranquility, such calmness and peace, almost unbelievable. But when in India we were enslaved by the British, the Mikale brought such an education system to remove this dimension of calming down the mind, silencing the mind. Not only in India, all over the world, the entire education system which was you know, powered by the Mikala system of education, you know, removed this aspect of silencing the mind. I was thinking, why did this happen? I think because in his mind he had only two types of mind. One is a lazy mind, lethargic mind, and mentally retarded type of mind. Another is a very active mind, full of energy, vitality, brilliant, and innovation, and concentration, and others, sharpness. Therefore, when he saw the people sitting in meditation, quietly, calmly, and silently, he would say, hey, don't sit lazy, come on, get up, be active be sharp, brilliant. And this is how he brought the dimensions of only two. And it was much later, thanks to Maharshi Mahesh Yogi, who was able to bring about the dimensions of the mind, saying that this calmness of the mind, silencing of the mind, tranquilizing of the mind, meditative phase is not a lazy mind. It is not a lethargic mind. It is not a dull mind. It is a mind which is much better than the so-called sharp mind, brilliant mind, innovative mind. Large number of research papers he was able to publish, and even from Harvard, Dr. Benson and so on, and that brought transcendental meditation as the key essence, bringing the third dimension which is necessary. 
In yoga, therefore, we have three dimensions, tamas, rajas, and sattva. Tamas is the lethargic, drowsy mind, and others. The normal mind with concentration, sharpness, brilliance, and improving. Third is a calm mind with all the grandeur and qualities of an active mind, at the same time gaining control and mastery over the mind. So they are like two wings. Because of the lack of the second, we are trying to fly on only one wing. That's how we have failed. This is the root cause for all of our challenges that we see today in the world, particularly of the non-communicable diseases. When I look at a lot of our children who come from all over the country and abroad to our university, I find so happy to see them so brilliant, so sharp, intelligent. And you ask them to do a particular thing, they will go and complete the work so nicely, so effectively. I ask them to sit quiet, calm, silent. This is the biggest punishment we give them. Therefore, in that process we started bringing out this aspect in our education system in Arunachal Pradesh when we started our primary, middle school and high school education. Every day they should sit in meditation. And thanks to Maharishi Maharishi Yogi, all over the world, people realize the importance of calming the mind, silencing the mind and tranquilizing the mind. This is how it starts working. But how to do that? No. Father Patnali has to give the whole dimension. He says that when you calm down the mind, when you gain a mastery over the mind, what happens? Yada nirodha bhavati. What is going to happen? No? Tada drashtaho swarope avasthanam. Then you go back to your swarupa. Swarupa is the purusha. That is the infinite. Ishvara, as he says later on. No? And what is the Ishvara that he talks about? What is the purusha attack? Klesha karma vipakashayaihi aparamrushtaha purusha visheshaha Ishvaraha. One who is beyond space, time causation, beyond all changes, beyond all transformations. And that is the original state. That's called Purusha. And the Patnali thinks based on the Sankhya, we are the Purusha and the Prakriti. Prakriti is made out of the Chitta. Just like in modern science, we have understood all this physical world is made out of energy. Molecules, molecules made of atoms, protons, neutrons, fundamental particles. They are all made out of packets of energy called quarks. No? So everything is nothing but energy. Similarly, everything, the prakriti, the whole world, not only physical world, the bi biological system, the human systems, and all that which is beyond, everything is nothing but chitta, that's the beautiful thing he says. No? Therefore, he talks about the things. We have to go beyond the chittas to go to the purusha, go back to the purusha, swarupa, that's our origin state. Mm -hmm. Then, having said that, he says, if you are not in that swarupa, you are in the form of vrittis, in the form of modification of the mind. Then what are the modifications of the mind? Pramana, viparya, vikalpa, nidra, sprutayaha, five types of chitta vrittis he talks about. The right knowledge, the wrong knowledge, the blabbery, and the sleep and the memory store. He says in sleep, you are not eliminating all mind. That's also a chitta vritti, a frozen mind. That is the aspect of abhava pratyaya, he says. That's the greatest contribution. Abhava pratyaya alamana vritti nidra, he says, he defines. Then the whole memory store, no. in which we have all our samskaras, sanchita karma, prarabdha karma, and all this memory store which have, we have accumulated. No. All those have to be purified in the whole process to reach the purusha dimension. No. So, having defined all these things, how to do that? Abhyasa vairagya, abhyam nirodha, says, by the understanding and the practice. Theory and practice are both needed. In the theory, as we start growing, there is going to be the detachment from the bondage of the desires. 
विगधा राग है इसमें सभी रागे दस है भाव हा वैराग्य दट वैराग्य शुड स्टार्ट कमिंग अप देर फॉर द श्योर प्रोस ऑफ ग्रोथ इज टू रेड्यूस अवर एंगर ग्रीड जलसी हेट्रेड इन्फैचुएशन एरोगेन काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद मात्सर्य द सिक्स एनिमीज ऑफ मैन दट शुड गो ऑन रेड्यूसिंग डे बाई डे डे बाई डे डे बाई डे दैट इज द डायमेंशन दैट हैज बीन टॉक्ट अबाउट दैट इज डन थ्रू द अभ्यास अभ्यास है द रेग्युलर प्रैक्टिस द प्रैक्टिस इज नॉट डायमेंशन स तो दीर्घकार नैरंतर्य सत्कार से दृढ़ भूमि विद रेग्युलर प्रैक्टिस ऑफ दैट वन एस टू डू एंड वंस यू स्टार्ट डूइंग दैट दैन यू स्टार्ट ग्रोइंग इन टू द ग्रेट डीप हाइट्स एंड रीचर्स वेरियस लेवल्स ऑफ सटिलिटी ऑफ द माइंड एंड दे आर कॉड एज ए समाधिज एंड वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ समाधिज हैव बीन टॉक्ट अबाउट एंड अल्टीमेट गोल इज कॉल्ड खैबल्या एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स इज ब्रॉट अबाउट ब्यूटिफुली इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर that is the samadhi pada with that we will close today's session once more offering our salutations to patanjali and in the next sunday we are going to take up the sadhana pada the practical dimension of summarizing briefly the first one welcome back to next sunday until that you can go through the first chapter samadhi pada and see that you absorb the different dimension योगेन पदेन वाचा मल शरीर से वैद्यकोपाकोत्तम प्रवर मुनीना पतंजलि प्राजलिरान शातिशाशाति हरिओं Namaste to one and all. Today we are having the practice of cyclic meditation, which is the best technique of S Vyasa deemed to be yoga university. The principle of cyclic meditation is stimulation followed by relaxation. Now we'll have this cyclic meditation practice. each and every step with demonstration now i request all of you be ready for the practice spread your yoga mat totally because this unique practice is having some posture in savasana some in standing sithila tadasana some in sitting dandasana and sithila dandasana so now we'll start our practice lie down on your back savasana legs go apart hands are the little away from the body palm facing upward beautiful smile on your face throughout the practice eyes closed and beautiful smile and do this practice with total awareness step 1 of cyclic meditation that is starting prayer which is from mandukyo karika join your palms namaskar mudra prayer repeat after me laye sambodhaye chittam laye sambodhaye chittam विक्षिप्त समे पुनः विक्षिप्त समे पुनः सकषा बीजानीयात सकषा बीजानीयात समाप्त न चाले 
ಸಮಾಪ್ತಂ ನ ಚಾಲಯೇತ್ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿರ್ಶಾಂತಿರ್ಶಾಂತಿ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿರ್ಶಾಂತಿರ್ಶಾಂತಿ ರಿಲೀಜರ್ ಮುದ್ರಾ observe the beautiful vibration let us contemplate on the meaning stimulate and awaken your sleepy mind calm down the distraction try to recognize the deep rooted stress or the innate stagnation once you attain the stability try not to disturb om peace 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 second step irt legs together heels together toes together palms beside your thigh and completely touching to the thigh bring your awareness to the toes stretch your toes tighten the ankle joints tighten the calf muscle pull up the knee cap tighten the thigh muscle squeeze and compress the buttock muscle exhale soak your abdomen in make tight fist tighten the arms inhale expand the chest tighten and compress the neck muscle facial muscle completely tighten 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 release and relax legs apart hands are the little away from the body observe the beautiful relaxation keep smiling the best gift of god enjoy let's chant akara for more relaxation inhale observe the vibration of akara legs together hands by the side of your body now reach your right arm along with the ground above your head let your each and every movement slow fold your left leg at the knee place your left palm on the abdomen gently turn towards the right side left leg on your right leg left palm on your left thigh keep smiling your complete body weight in a single line enjoy the right linear awareness complete body weight shifted to the ground feel the lightness Let's chant Akara here. Ah. Feel the vibration. Gently place your left palm in front of your chest on the ground. Bend your legs a little. With the help of the legs, and the elbow slowly come to sitting with eyes closed now very gently come to standing posture later movement slow legs apart hand singing freely relax in sithila tadasana surface awareness keep smiling enjoy Let us chant one round Brahmari. Inhale and chant. Mm. Feel the vibration of Brahmari chanting. 
nice massage to your each and every part. Join your legs, hands by the side of your body. Back straight, Stiti Tadasana. Centering, lean forward, shifting the body weight to the toes. Pointed awareness, heels on the ground, come back to center. Lean backward, shifting the body weight to the heels, come back to center. Lean towards the right, your complete body weight to the right edge of your right foot. Right linear awareness, come back to center. Lean towards the left, left linear awareness, come back to center. Relax. Observe the changes. Legs little apart, hands relax. Facial muscle totally relax, beautiful smile, enjoy. Let us chant here one round Akara. Inhale and chant. Uh, observe the vibration. Now from Stiti, Tadasana, we'll go for Arthakati Chakrasana with slow movement. Stand straight in Stiti, Tadasana. Start from right side, reach your right hand sideways, degree by degree, inch by inch. Slow and continuous movement. Do not forget to smile. Enjoy. 90 degree twist your palm upward. Feel the twist pointed awareness. Further up. Up. Slow and continuous process. Feel the blood flow towards the armpit. Up. Continue to 180 degree vertical position. Bicep touching the ear. Go for stretching. Stretch up. Stretch up. Stretch up. Gently bend towards your left. Let your left palm, left palm sliding along with your left thigh. Feel the stress, only lateral bending. Keep smiling. Enjoy the stimulation. Enjoy. Gently come back to 180 degree. Let your left palm relax. Go for stretching. Stretch up. Stretch up. Stretch up. Now gently move your right hand down. Slow and continuous process. Down. Observe the blood flow. Any sensation, the numbness. Enjoy. 90 degree, twist your palm downward. Further down. Down. Slow and continuous process. Down. Feel the nerve impulse. Completely down. Observe the changes between your left and right side. Now for your right side, let us chant Akara. Oh. Let's for Samatvam, for balance. Go for left side. 
Now reach your left hand sideways. Decree by decree. Inch by inch. Slow and continuous process. Up. Continue. 90 degree twist your palm upward. Further up. Continue. Observe your heartbeat. Blood flow. Any sensation. Up. Reach to 180 degree vertical position. Go for stretching. Stretch up, stretch up, stretch up. Gently bend laterally towards the right. Right palm sliding along with the right thigh. Keep on breathing. Beautiful smile. Enjoy the pain. Enjoy the stretching. Gently come back. To 180 degree. Let your right palm totally free. Now once again go for stretching from left side. Stretch up, stretch up, stretch up. Now gently move your left hand down. 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 Ninety degree twist your palm downward for the down. Feel your heart beat. Feel the blood flow down. Totally down. Let's pour the left side. Chant one round Akara. Inhale deeply and chant. <sighs> Relax and Sithila Tadasana. Legs go apart. Hands relax. Enjoy the balance. Beautiful smile on the face. Enjoy. Now gently come to sitting posture. Take your own time. Very relaxed and gentle way. And lie down on the left side. Your right leg on your left leg, right palm on your right thigh, head resting on your left bicep or tricep. Your complete body weight in a single line. Enjoy. Gradually the body weight totally sips to the ground with normal breathing. Keep smiling. Enjoy. Let us chant Akara. Ah. Observe the vibration. Enjoy. Now gently turn your body and lie down on your back Savasana. Let your movement slow. Legs go apart. Hands are the little away from the body. Relax. Totally collapse your body on the ground. 
QRT quick relaxation technique place your one palm on the abdomen observe the movement of the abdomen with natural process of breathing and enjoy complete exhalation synchronize the movement of the abdomen with the breathing while inhaling bulge the abdomen out like a balloon while exhaling sink your abdomen in continue three to five rounds and enjoy after complete exhalation release your palm from the abdomen Shift your awareness to the tip of the nose, your nostril. Observe the cool air as you inhale, going inside. The warm air coming out as you exhale. Feel the energy as you inhale. As you exhale, release all the tension, all the negativity, totally release. Let go, let go, let go. Enhancing. A bit of relaxation. Let us chant Akara here. Inhale deeply and chant. Oh. Observe the vibration. Enjoy the relaxation. Very gently come back to your body, move your toes, move your fingers, legs together, hands by the side of your body. Now with the help of the elbows slowly come to Stiti Dandasana. Now relax in Sithila Dandasana. Hang your head freely, either side or center. Keep smiling, enjoy the changes. Gently come to Stiti Dandasana. Back straight. Let's go for Vajrasana. Hold your leg one by one. Let your movement slow. Sit on your heels. Place your palm on your respective thighs. Back straight. Enjoy the beauty of this meditative posture. Enjoy the coordination. Now very gently, we'll go for Sasankasana, make a fist with one palm, take your both hands back 
and catch hold your wrist with another palm. Feel the pulse. Now gently with inhalation, lean little backward. With exhalation, bend forward. Let your movement slow. Abdomen on your thigh, chest on your knee, forehead on the ground. Collapse your shoulder joints. Observe the blood flow. Heavy blood flow towards the head. Let us chant Makara with closed mouth here. Mm. Observe the vibration. Now very gently come back. Release the forehead. Release the chest. Abdomen. As you coming back, feel the lightness, release your palms, sit in Bajrasana, beautiful smile, enjoy the lightness. Last stimulation part, Ustrasana. Now gently stand on your knees. Now we'll go for first half Ustrasana or Ardha Ustrasana, then Ustrasana. Gently place your palm on your lower back, fingers together, pointing forward. With inhalation, bend backward. Feel the stimulation. If possible, try to catch your heels. Make sure your alignment is proper. Your thighs perpendicular to the ground. Feel the heavy blood flow towards the head. Let's chant Akara here. Oh. Gently come back, support your back with your palm. Now gently, completely come off. Now release your palm, sit on your heels. Observe the beautiful changes within you. Keep smiling. Enjoy the changes. Now unfold or stretch your leg one by one. Relax in Sithila Dandasana for few seconds. Now slowly and gently with the help of the elbows lie down on your back very gently. Legs apart, hands are the little away from the body. Totally relax your each and every part. Coming to DRT, Deep Relaxation Technique. Bring your total awareness to the lower part of your body. Totally release the stiffness from the toe joints and relax 
mental suggestion i am relaxing i am relaxing completely loose the ankle joints and relax totally relax your calf muscle totally always mental suggestion i am relaxing completely loose the knee cap the knee joints and relax totally relax your thigh muscles buttock muscle totally relax 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 enhancing better relaxation let's chant akara inhale observe the vibration and enjoy the relaxation do not sleep relax each and pa- every part with awareness shift your awareness to the middle part from the lower back to the neck totally relax your lower back middle back upper back completely collapse your entire spine on the ground and relax totally relax the neck joints enjoy auto suggestion i am relaxing i am relaxing totally relax your abdominal muscle all the internal vital organs your kidney pancreas liver lungs heart totally relax the chest muscle totally relax your shoulder joints the finger joints relax Re- let us chant ukara inhale and chant o feel the vibration and relax now very gently shift your awareness to the head region auto suggestion i am relaxing relax your back of the head totally completely relax your entire head region chin 
all the parts of the buccal cavity, your throat, nostril, cheek muscle, ears, eyes, eyebrows, eyebrow center, forehead, crown of the head, totally relax, relax, relax. Let's chant with closed mouth makara for better relaxation. Inhale and chant. Mm. Feel the vibration for the complete body. We'll chant A O Makar all together in a single breath. Uh. Feel the vibration. Expand yourself completely from the body to the higher consciousness level and enjoy the silence over there. Feel the beauty of the silence. Let's chant Omkara. Oh. Join your palms, Namaskar Mudra. Sarve Bhavantu together. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha. Sarve Santu Niramaya. Sarve Bhatrani Pasyantu. Ma Kashi Dukhabhak Pavit. Om Shanti 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 Gently come back, very slowly and gently. Take your own time. Come back and relax.